This video is on percent composition. Percent composition is percent by mass of each element in a compound. It consists of a percent value for each different element in the compound. So if you have three elements in a compound, that means you're going to have three different answers. The main thing you've got to know in order to do this is this formula here. And it's very similar to any percent formula that you're ever going to see. So you do the mass of the element over the mass of the compound times 100. So just like if you were to find the percent of boys in the classroom, you would do the number of boys divided by the total number of students altogether times 100. So it's the exact same thing. Okay, so we're going to go through a series of examples, um, the different types of problems that I'm going to expect you to be able to do. So what is the percent composition of NaCl? So the first thing you're going to do, step one, is to find the molar mass of the compound. So to find the mass of the compound. So Na is 23, Cl is 35.5, add those together, you get 58.5. Okay, so that is the mass of the compound. That's what molar mass means. So step two then is to find the percent of each element in the compound. So percent of Na, you're going to do 23 divided by 58.5 times 100. Which should give you 39.3% of Na. Okay, then you have to do the same thing with chlorine. You do 35 5 divided by 58.5 times 100. And you get 60.7% CO. Okay? So it's pretty straightforward. So let's try another example. So in this one, I gave you the actual compound and the formula. So this one, I give, I asked for the percent composition again, but I write copper 2 nitrate. So just like you had to be, have to do every single time, is you're going to take this and write the chemical formula. So copper is Cu with the charge of 2, nitrate NO3 with the charge of 1, crisscross Cu parentheses NO3 too. If you cannot write chemical formulas, you're going to be, you're going to have trouble again here. So you've got to be able to stay after school. Okay, so then step one, find the molar mass of that compound. So copper is 63.6. .6. There's only one of them. Nitrogen is 14 times 2. It's 28. Oxygen, 16 times 6, 96, and you add them up. So 63.6 .6 plus 28 plus 96. Okay, so then step 2, find the percents. So to find the percent of copper, you're going to do 63.6 .6 divided by 187.6 times 100 which should give you 33.9 percent copper and then you're going to keep on going so percent of nitrogen you do the mass of nitrogen so that total amount which is 28 divided by 187.6 times 100. Fourteen point nine percent nitrogen. And then last, oxygen. Same exact thing, so 96 divided by 187.6 times 100. Fifty-one point two percent oxygen. 
So these three things are your answers to this problem. Okay, so now we're going to move on to another different example. And in this case, I don't actually give you a formula, I just give you some numbers. So a compound is formed when 9.03 grams of magnesium combines completely with 3.48 grams of nitrogen. So this is saying this combines together. What is the percent composition of this compound? So step one is to find the mass of the compound. To do this, you're simply going to do 9.03 plus 3.48 because they combine together to become a compound. So you get 12.51. And then you're not doing anything with the periodic table here. You're just taking the masses that are given to you. So you're going to do the percent of mg by simply doing 9.03 divided by 12.51 times 100. which gives you 72.2% mg. Nitrogen, 3.48 divided by 12.51 times 100. percent nitrogen. And there's your two answers. Okay, so, so far we've learned three different things here. I give you the formula, um, you find the molar mass and go from there. I give you the name, so the first thing you got to do is find the formula, or I give it to you in number form where you don't even have to worry about the formula. You just take those numbers, add them together, and solve. The last example is an um, example of a hydrate. Okay, and we did one of these in the videos where you had to find the molar mass of it. So you're going to do the same thing here. You're going to find the molar mass of Na2CO3 and then 10 H2Os. Now remember, this is not a multiplication sign. It's actually more of an adding sign here. So this is just a ratio of for every 1 Na2CO3, you have 10 uh, waters. So you're going to start by finding the molar mass of Na2CO3. So Na is 23 times 2 which gives you 46. Carbon is 12. Oxygen, 16 times 3, which is 48. So 46 plus 12 plus 48 gives you 106. Okay? Then the second step when you have a hydrate is to find the mass of 10 H2Os. Okay, so 10 H2Os. So this means you're going to find the molar mass of water to begin with. So 1 times 2 is 2. Oxygen is 16. So that gives you a mass of 18. Then you're simply going to take this number and multiply, which gives you 180. So then step 3 is to simply take 106 plus 180 which gives you 286 grams. This is the overall molar mass of the hydrate. So then step four is to actually find the percent of H2O. So you're going to do the mass of water divided by the total mass times 100. Okay, so 180 divided by 286 times 100, which gives you 62.9% H2O, okay?